All right, everybody, I just want to let you all know that Lynxy's coming around my house tomorrow, and we're going to be making a load of videos, me and him planned it. Uh, we're going to be making a load of, like, real-life videos, because tomorrow, Tuesday, and uh, maybe, well, I don't know what the plans are, but this week, me and Lynxy, we're going to be making a ton of videos together, so I think it's going to be sick. I, I forgot that I was actually in the game. I was just running around. I don't know what I was just doing. But yeah, I hope you're all looking forward to that. I'm really looking forward to making those videos, because when I was at the face house, I really, really loved making those real-life videos, and you guys loved them so much more than my COD videos, so expect more, like, a much more balanced now of COD and real life stuff. That isn't what I want to talk about in this video at all. The topic in this video is something that I actually picked out while I was on the aeroplane. I had a conversation with Tommy, FaZe Temper. While I was at the FaZe house, me and him had a conversation about this, like a good conversation about this. Because this is something that like throughout my whole life, or well, yeah, throughout my whole life, that my mum has like taught me like really, really well. And it's definitely something that I use a lot. And this is something you can use if anything. And you can put it into any, well not anything, but anything you want to like set yourself as a goal to achieve. But what I want to like speak about is how crazy it is that like anything that is like humanly possible but like, anything that a human can do like you can do like you watching this video you can do exactly what any other human in this world has done or anything better you could do anything better as long as it's humanly possible you can do it as long as you set you like you give yourself the mindset you will 100% be able to do it i want to give you guys like a, it's, it's kind of like a little story and it relates to this really really well as to how like it fits in really well pretty much of what i'm saying and this was the first time i ever like you know really that i knew about it i don't know like it's it's a really like strange thing to talk about. But yeah, I remember it was me, my mum and my brothers when I was a kid. And uh, we were just going for a walk. I'm pretty sure we were walking through a field or something. So like, on a Sunday morning walk, I don't know what we were doing. But we were out and there was a stream. There's like a river, like a stream. And obviously every kid, you know, you want to try and jump over the stream. But the stream is like like too like, too big. Like, none of us, like me, especially the, like the size I was at that time. There was no way I was going to make that jump. So I did it and I, I fucked up. I landed in the mud. I was like, oh fuck, I just kind of ruined this walk. I've got muddy shoes and I'm wet now and then i just walked through and completely gave up and walked away and i thought to myself that's too big i'm never gonna be able to jump over that you know what i'm just gonna give up and just move just keep on walking but yeah my mum is the type of person like she works really hard she's really clever at what she does she's like she's really smart with her work but yeah just after i'd given up and walked away from the, you know, the stream but yeah, then remember, but then my mum said to me, she was just like, yeah, Frazier, you can like do anything. That stream is tiny. I know for a fact you can jump it. The only thing stopping me from jumping the stream was me. But in my head, I'd done it once and thought, nope, that's too, that's too hard. I'm not going to do that again. I'd given up and moved along and I'd set myself like, I'd set like a mental barrier in my mind. And as long as that barrier was there, no matter what, I would never, ever be able to jump it. And then my mum goes to me, she was like, Frazier, just close your eyes and imagine, that sounds weird. It's like, close your eyes and imagine you jumping over that river and you getting to the other side and you being really happy. And then you open your eyes, do it and jump. So I did exactly that. I imagined it in my head. I opened my eyes and I was taking the run up. And I was taking the run up. I'd seen myself do it. I'd seen myself achieve it in my mind. Because you can imagine anything in your mind. But yeah, because I'd seen myself achieve it, I was just like, damn, I'm doing this. And I've like, I've seen myself achieve this. So I know it's possible. It's not like you have to like, just believe in yourself. You've got to like, no, you've got to like have that solid, like I can and I will do this. Even though it's a really like, I'm just jumping over a river, you can apply it to anything. But yeah, I did jump over the stream. And even though this is just a stream, this is just a tiny example of me. Like you can apply this to anything. And I mean, literally anything. I applied this exact method to joining phase. Believe it or not, after I've been kicked from Optic, I just said to myself, I was like, okay, phase is the next team I've always wanted to join. I've always joined any team I've ever wanted to ever join doing this COD stuff, which I love. So I looked at the face Twitter and I was just like, right, I'm going to get that Twitter to follow me one time real soon. And obviously it did blow my mind when I joined FaZe. I was shaking for about three days. But no, seriously, like what I just said to you, I just want, uh, this is a commentary. I never usually speak about this sort of stuff, but I want like even one person to just get something out of this and like seriously apply this to like anything you do in your life. But just know that like as long as you believe to yourself and you know that you can do something, you can 100% do it. It. That's one thing that my mum has always taught me like my whole whole life Which is really one of the best things you can be taught honestly But like just doing that changed so much stuff in my life I just want like even like one person out of this video to go and take what I did do something and be happy You know you have, have got a sense. I don't know I mean even if one person takes something out of this video and it affects them in a like, good way That's that's good enough for me but yeah, I never usually do commentaries like this, honestly. I don't know. I just wanted to, like, I've been thinking about it so much. On the plane ride back from uh, the face house, I was thinking about this. I was like, yeah, I'm going to speak about this in a video. Then I remembered the story of the stream when I was a kid. And I was like, yeah, it's going to be really good to put into a video. So I hope you understand, like, the whole angle and gist of it. But yeah, I also do have a sick overflow tomahawk trick shot that I hit, actually, in my stream today. It was, like, my first attempt, and I hit, a, like, a tomahawk across overflow. Like, I've never hit a trick shot on overflow. 
And that was pretty crazy. So yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy this commentary. Please just let me know in the comments if it's something that you like have heard of before, you've never heard of it. If it helped you in any way, then let me know. I really hope it does because it seriously helped me so much. Like I was just I was thinking about like things and goals that I've achieved and like how I've done it. And it's always come back to like this essentially. And you can just relate it to everything. Honestly, I could go on for this for hours. But yeah, I hope you guys do enjoy the shot. Hope you have a great day. I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Peace out, everybody. Oh. oh my god, no way! No fucking way, man. Watch this, watch this, watch this. <laughs> Last throw of my life, look. <laughs> no way I just hit that. That's insane, man. What was that, like, overflow of all maps? I hit, I hit a tomahawk across overflow. Is this overflow? Yeah, overflow. I don't even know the name of this map. I don't even know the name of this map, and I just hit that. Like, what the fuck?